Welcome back to The Doctors. Today we're discussing when surgery is required. And after years of rescue work and crippling arthritis, 12-year-old Labrador retriever Red underwent this groundbreaking treatment. Meet Red, a 12-year-old black Labrador retriever, one of the last surviving rescue dogs deployed on 9-11. The Pentagon crash site was her first assignment, but she's had a long and physically demanding career, including service in Hurricanes Rita and Katrina. Now it's Red's turn to be rescued. In March, she received a stem cell regenerative treatment to help ease the crippling effects of arthritis. She'll still remain retired, but will regain her lost mobility with this breakthrough treatment. And joining us now via Polycom is Red, along with her owner, Heather, and veterinarian, Dr. John Herdy. Thank you all for joining us. Hey, Heather, is it really true that Red's one of the last surviving search and rescue dogs from 9-11? Yes. There, since it's been about 10 years since the incident happened, there's only about a dozen that are still left alive. And she was a little bit younger than two when she certified and responded to the Pentagon after the 9-11 attacks. And then she didn't get retired until last summer. She actually worked the drowning, and that was her last recovery that she had made. And Dr. Herity, so the veterinarians are starting to use stem cells as well now? Yes, they have. When you decided to go ahead and do stem cell therapy for Red, where exactly did you inject the stem cells? Well, we gave them IV, which covers any inflammation within the body, and then we decided most of the problem was arthritis along the back, so we um, injected small amounts on either side of the spine down the... Uh, lower thoracic and lumbar spine, the lower back, basically. Have you noticed any improvement with Red? Yeah, from what I understand, Red's doing great. What do you think, Heather? Actually, it's been dramatic, the difference. Red, for the last probably two years, except for when you asked her to go to work, would just stand around or lay around. And she's actually going and playing with the dog. She's going upstairs. She's trying to jump in the truck. It's been a big difference. How quickly did you see a difference? It's been about... Uh, maybe five days, and it was a little over two weeks ago that the procedure was done. And then this past weekend, she, we actually took her on a search. She was retired, so she didn't actually actively search, but we did let her come out at the end because she hasn't wanted to work in a long time. We've been just training in the yard, and she was jealous and barking at all the other dogs, so we let her out. She got a last chance to work a real site, which was exciting for her and for us. <laughs> She earned her yeah. retirement. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, yeah. if there's a story here, it's, it's really cool how technology that is, is starting to be used for humans is also transferable to our lovable pets. And Red certainly, I'm sure, has a lot of people who love her. Thank you so much for being on the show with us. And good luck to Red.